No trainer would start you without a warm up. Right. So let's get into it. Warm it up. Warm it up. If you've ever worked out with a personal trainer like Bobby Westside, you've probably had a workout tailored to your needs. What I would see is a little bit of lack of ankle mm -hmm. flexion here. With a little extra motivation sprinkled in. Very good. But there's a new competitor making its way into gyms. Personal workout plans made using ChatGPT or other AI platforms. Here's how it works. You log on to ChatGPT.com or download the mobile app and then type in what type of workout you want, including the areas you'd like to focus on. I wanted a similar routine to the one I did with Bobby. Give me a 10 minute workout focused on legs and abs. Then ChatGPT generated a plan for me to try. Perform a regular squat, then jump. <laughs> That's what it said. So here's the bicycle crunches. I think it's this, right? Yeah. And as you can see, there was a bit more guessing in my solo workout compared to the personal instruction with Bobby. Can you make this workout harder for me? Jonah Blatt, a physiotherapist in Ontario, Canada, has been experimenting with AI workouts for seven months. It really is hit and miss in terms of what you get out of it from a workout perspective. Some exercises make a lot of sense and were a really great fit. Others left me questioning why they would choose that exercise. Blatt says he does a lot of his workouts at home, but anyone can customize the workout by letting ChatGPT know where they are, what equipment they have available, and what areas they'd like to target. Dr. Jeepak Chona is a sports surgeon and works with patients who use AI workouts. Do you think there's any other pieces of advice for people who are deciding to use these AI machines for their workouts? What you can get from these is a lot of useful information and a lot of accurate information. But what you can't necessarily expect is full comprehensiveness and 100% accuracy. One study found that only about 41% of AI-generated workouts were comprehensive, meaning they included all six components of exercise. And if you decide to use an AI workout, one last important piece of advice. I would really focus on what you're telling the AI when you prompt it. So that should be a very, very, very long prompt, answering the questions that a trainer would already ask you, which is, what injuries do you have? What's your experience in the gym? Is there anything that you're not comfortable doing? You need to make sure that you're going about it safely. Maya Eaglin, NBC News. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.